Astronomers have recently made a fascinating discovery about the nearby galaxy NGC 3221. Get ready to explore the findings from the deep X-ray observations conducted by ESA's XMM Newton satellite. This new observational campaign detected a faint active galactic nucleus, or AGN, in NGC 3221, providing fresh insights into this cosmic system. The research, led by Sanskriti Das of Stanford University, utilizes deep X-ray observations to gain a comprehensive picture of the X-ray emitting components within the galaxy. The astronomers employed ESA's XMM Newton satellite, specifically the European Photon Imaging Camera, for this detailed investigation. Before diving into the AGN confirmation, let's understand the key properties of the galaxy NGC 3221. NGC 3221 is classified as an edge-on, star-forming luminous infrared galaxy. This distant system is located approximately 200 million light-years away from Earth. The galaxy has a significant stellar mass, estimated at about 100 billion times the mass of our Sun. The main objective of the new observations was to verify the presence of an active galactic nucleus, or AGN, at the center of NGC 3221. Prior studies had hinted that NGC 3221 might host an AGN, a highly luminous and energetic compact region at a galaxy center. The detailed investigation relied on XMM Newton's European Photon Imaging Camera, or EPIC, to gather precise spatial, temporal, and spectral information. The observation successfully confirmed the existence of a low-luminosity active galactic nucleus in the center of NGC 3221. Astronomers proposed two possible explanations for this faint AGN. Either it is heavily obscured with soft X-ray emission, or it is a Compton-thick AGN with a reflected component. Beyond the AGN, the research uncovered several other significant features within the NGC 3221 galaxy. This study identified two distinct bright regions in the galaxy's stellar disk, including a supersoft source and the brightest soft X-ray emitter. Spectral analysis of the diffuse gas revealed two phases at 0.15 keV and 0.55 keV, with the hotter phase being more extended beyond the disk. The research also investigated six ultraluminous X-ray sources, finding diverse variability timescales and a wide range of hardness ratios. The study concludes that the diffuse component is the primary contributor to the X-ray emission in NGC 3221, accounting for most of the unabsorbed intrinsic luminosity.